What is up guys? We are back some more at the Thaumaturge and we're here to continue the main quest. Um, after we unlocked the other Salutur, I went and did some more of like the side quests and what are these urban secrets in order to get more Thaumaturgy points. So just want to show you, I've already maxed out Lilik's uh, line, which came with some pretty good stuff. So we have thoughtful development, which is a pretty cool skill. So receive damage in the last round of the state's duration. And then we got icy armor. So this is gonna help us out with survivability. So I put that on one of the skills. Let's see, was that my damage over time? Yep. So when I do agony, that's when I'll start taking less damage. I was trying to decide between action reaction or agony, but I figured it made more sense to interrupt after I've already had like a suffering status on people. Yeah, let's get dressed. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I see you went to a barber. That's something at least. Recently I met a bearded guy who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. Mm, maybe he's a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tailcoat. Very funny. Are you getting dressed so we can go, or have you changed your plans? Yes, let's go and see if I do fit in. In that case, I'll go get changed too. Look at you. It looks lame as hell. And here I worried I was the only one who looked good in trousers. Very chic choice. We can switch places. I look better than you do, all in all. That I'd like to see. You think Papa would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Girl, that's what you're worried about? Victor. He could have kept from losing the Black Grimoire. Are we ready? Yes, the carriage is waiting. Welcome to the Imperial Hotel. How may I help you? Ligia Szulska, here on the invitation of Svetlana Romianceva. Yes, we are expecting you, of course. The uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, second floor. I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. I'm impressed. How did you sort that out? Our name still means something. Let's do our best to keep it that way, all right? Who are you, my golden, slithering friend? Victor? Victor! Victor! Can you hear me? Yes, uh, of course. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? We're walking into the Vipers then, brother. I'm going to hang around here a little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Huh. See you there. Yeah, I feel like we got some exploring to do. Find the person with the flaw. Then we got some stuff to examine here too. Get these little sketches. Well, well, someone new. Good evening. Good evening, Viktor Szulski. Irina Orlova of those Orlovs. This is Natalia Obolenskaya, and this strangely quiet soul is our delightful Sofia Skawan. Irina is exaggerating. Nice to meet you, Mr. Shulsky. 
The Governor General's daughter herself. How do you do? What can you tell us? How are you enjoying yourself? I'll have to get yourself? more information to talk we to him. We can't complain. Seeing as we're debutantes, we're getting a lot of attention. Really? Maybe you'll tell us something about yourself. I suspect you want to hear more about the book. We've never met a thaumaturgist before. To tell the truth, I didn't believe they existed. A thaumaturge? Don't worry. But now you do. Well, it depends on what kind of trick you show us, Mr. Shulsky. Tricks. I need to slip away for a moment. Oh, no, what a shame. Yes, what a shame. Fuck out of here. Oh, tell me something over here. Okay. I don't know why it like lit up like there was something there. We can't even go over there. The only person to interact with is this guy. Sergei. What do we come here for? These soirees are for old people. Good evening. May I? Please, we're not discussing anything consequential. <laughs> you keep on worrying about yourselves. I intend to make the most of this evening. See, I told you he was in love. Miss Scowon is out of your league, my friend. To say nothing of her father. Old Scowon and I are practically on first name terms now. You'll see. I'm sure. So, one eye-catching girl has already got an admirer. What does that leave us, Maxime? Hmm, Maxime? The dull, the ugly name. silly, or, well, the old. On parlant de Ligia Shulska, <laughs> she just passed this way. Pigs will fly before someone fancies her. She'd actually prefer Sophia Scowon, according to what I've heard. Well, what do you think? My name is Viktor Shulsky. I wonder if this conversation is well, what lets us it. tell the girls stuff we've heard. Forgive me, gentlemen. Let's go, let's go talk Please. to these girls real quick. I want to see if that unlocked our, our dialogue. Oh, we got a golden cage there. There we go. I've heard a certain secret. Do you want to hear it? Well, that's for oh, something else, no, not even our conversation. Anyone. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Do you like being a tease? Yes. Forgive me, ladies, for teasing you like this. Here's the secret. Come on, we're dying to know. Someone was recently playing with a lock on one of the gilded cages. Wondering what would happen if all the birds escaped captivity. And I know for certain it was one of you. Sophia, that sounds like you. Admit it. And now what will happen to us, Mr. Shulsky? In exchange for my discretion, I need another secret of yours. That's the only way to keep everyone in check. What should I choose? Our fathers don't know we're here. There you are. How naughty. None of your fathers know? That's the worst secret. None, That's lame as hell. Especially not Sophia's. Otherwise, he wouldn't have let her come. I'm very satisfied with this trade. And what now? I need to slip away for a moment. We should go as well. We've really forgotten ourselves around you. That's nice to hear, but I understand. The soiree won't wait. I hear Rumiantseva has invited a real medium. Will there be ghosts? That I'd like to see. What is this on the... Oh, a fan. Traces of Sophia. Interesting. 
Well, let's see if we can just do this fight then. Mr. Shul? And I don't like what I just heard, especially about my sister. And uh, what are you going to do about Oh, he didn't know I was about that life. He did not know I was about that life. Oh, I'm afraid we're about to do this. Few things to explain to one another, preferably through violence. I don't think so, Mr. Shulsky. Where are you from? You're among polite society, not cattle. You are the cattle. I'm not the only one itching for a brawl, am I? What? Is one guy more than you can handle? Let's take this out to the forecourt, gentlemen. Sergei, my friend, anything for you. All right, we got invulnerability on him, restore, etc. That's cool. So let's first get rid of the dude that like does recovery. Reduce our damage taken over time, and then we'll also put some suffering on you. Now that we got this bleed, I can switch over to the lick. And I think I want to... On this guy is where I'll remove all negative states from me and transfer them to this person. bleeding again. Yep, now you're gone. And that works out, because now we can go for... Dang. I'm trying to think about this. <laughs> We got this. There we go. You get the level up? No, nah, we didn't get the level up. We were close though. Oh, and since we're here at this party, I might as well admire the view to get the EXP that we need. This is like one of those urban secret things uh, where you gotta get like a view of the area. Am I a magician or what? Mahogany colored handle, autumn leaves, and fox bushy tail. Let's discover this trap. The inability to save oneself from the dullness of everyday life, from the monotony and boredom. Why is human joy so short lived? Quilting is a laborious technique that both reinforces and embellishes the fabric. Checkered pattern is a timeless classic, and the gingery color brightens up the whole thing. Maybe this will help fight off the melancholy. Nothing else to discover? 
Y'all just want us to go back into that party and make sure before we go too far. Weak asses. I don't know, I feel like something's over here, but I guess there isn't. It's all just a part of my imagination. Oh, there's something here. <laughs> We're gonna go in the opposite way, because why would they have this pathway here? Just to throw us off. Got it. Got it. Played myself. Mr. Sir, we got that in the cutscene. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. You don't know how very flattering that is. And what brings you to the Imperial? If I may, there's one question niggling at me. How did you get so many scars? Why do you ask? I've heard that Russian officers in training have drunken duels with sabers after hours. Mm, no. <laughs> A very peculiar custom, if that's true. So where did those scars come from? I've led an interesting life. Oh, you don't want to say, huh? I could ask you the same question. I'm passing the time. Ah, oh, curious hobby. I'm simply interested in people. Do you know these circles well? They're not hard to figure out. A gang of non to bright layabouts chasing amusement after amusement after amusement. Do you feel part of that gang? I'm not one of them. And neither are you. Nor was your father. Who are you, really? Just someone who wants to enjoy himself at a party. Oh, just that? That's it? Who did you say you were to my father? A trusted acquaintance. I supported him with good advice. Though truth be told, he rarely needed it. Your father had a gift for making good decisions. Which of my father's decisions would those be? Once that were good for your family, perhaps we'll have the chance to return to this another time. Goodbye, Mr. Shulsky. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, more discovery. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Mysterious book, okay. Oh, I didn't want to do this interaction yet. Maybe that's enough. What do you want? Oh, snap! You have the salutar. The trick with entering someone's head. I know one person who can do that. You're not much of a thaumaturge if you can't. Have you come here to torment me? Unmask me? I don't see any fun in unmasking you. So what do you want? I think your idea of pretending to be a medium is fantastic. It sounds like I impress you. How many people know? Is that a threat? Your serum is quite impressive. Flattery will get you nowhere. Madame, you're being impolite. What about a little competition? We'll see who wins. I'll pass. Samurai Salutra looks impressive, to say the least, it's Siren. It matches her mysterious aura. I 
I've noticed a wild salutor here. I understand your being here has something to do with him in particular. Keep your nose out of this. Why? Because I'm warning you. What do you know about this salutor? Do you know its name? Don't you? A name doesn't tell us much anyway. All that matters is picking out the person in this crowd with the flaw. I know perfectly well who carries the flaw. Another reason for you to stay out of it. The person with the flaw attended the seance, right? <sighs> so I'm on the right track. Have you finished? So, should we finish up? That would be best. And listen to me carefully, Mr. Whatever your name is. Shulski, but you can call me Victor. Now, Mr. Shulski, you will vanish like a bad dream, and I will get back to work. Do your thing, but we gonna snag that Salutor. We gotta get word going so I can complete that other side quest to get the other Salutor. <laughs> It was like lipstick or something. Really nothing. I am surprised. And the general says to him, tell us something funny. Then Bautsky replies. This is the chick that uh, general, why don't you messaged shoot the our dad. First. That's a good one. I'll have to tell it tomorrow at the Orwafs. Who might this be joining our conversation? You know, sir, your face looks familiar to me. My name is Viktor Shulski. Ah, oh, yes, I can see something in your eyes. I was sorry to hear about your father. I'll see you next time, darling. Wonderful party. See you there. I think I've offended the creme de la creme of Warsaw. This is hardly the creme de la creme. How do you find my soiree? How is it, being part of the Tsar's court? It is a blessing and a curse. Forgive me if I do not elaborate. I admit I'm getting reacquainted with the social scene. You spent a long time traveling, didn't you? Fifteen years. Over that time I got used to harsher surroundings. Believe me, drawing rooms can be just as dangerous as untamed steps. You've met Anastasia and Marina. What about the others? I've already met several distinguished guests. Madame Samira definitely stands out. She is exceptional, isn't she? Her presence is the crowning glory of the evening. Has anyone else caught your eye? Ivan Konechkin, for instance. Apparently, he knew my father. How remarkable. I wasn't aware. Konechkin is something of a secretive person. And have you yet had occasion to meet the debutants of this season? I'll be sure to seek them out. This evening, Sofia Skowen herself is to grace us with her presence. Well, well. I suggest you move quickly. The competition is fierce. The crux of the matter is that I'm here because of my father. You knew him. That doesn't sound like a question. Of course, I was his customer. I truly am sorry for you, both of you. The death of someone close is always a dreadful blow. Please accept my condolences. Svetlana Piotrovna, I must insist. Can you tell me something more about my father? Mr. Shulsky, I assure you, we have the most delectable vodka. 
Besides that, I warmly encourage you to join Madame Samira's seance. It will be an unforgettable experience. Hmm, I wonder, is that truly everything our soiree can offer you? I've got no choice but to suffer through tonight. No need to mince words. Thank you, yeah, we saw that popping up there on the side of her head. I guess now we can talk to our sister. Here you are. Gentlemen, meet my brother. Viktor Shulsky. The last Shulsky to wear trousers. You don't know that. Miss Ligia could yet produce an heir to the fortune. Maybe even with me, if she doesn't tell my wife. Okay. But let's talk like men. You intend to take over your father's company, correct? First, I suggest you mind your own business. Your marriage, for instance. Perhaps Louisa isn't the ninny you take her for. I beg your pardon? You heard Hasn't me? Hasn't it occurred to you that when you leave her at home, she might also take advantage of her solitude? What are you suggesting? You've got a cockle's horns. <laughs> Has it been too subtle? Damn. I suppose it's true what they say about you. Yes? What's that? You've lost your mind. It's true. I'm completely nuts. I can't tell what's true and what's a bluff, apart from Puchalski's horns. A dangerous oaf! Good luck with your business, miss. Yeah, yeah. Now I can forget about anyone wanting to say a word to me. You've always got me. Listen, as far as those two are concerned, I just didn't like how they were treating you. I'm used to it, Victor. Their words don't bother me. I can cope. Any progress with Svetlana? Sofia Skowen, the Governor General's daughter. Do you know her? No, and I don't suggest you make her acquaintance either. Uh oh. Skawan can't stand thaumaturges. But the daughter can. Guess who I ran into again? All mysterious and carved up. Ivan Konietkin? What do you know about him? Mm, not much. He was an acquaintance of Papa's. Well, in theory, it's thanks to him that we're here. What? Ligia? I know that nothing comes for free, but he really didn't want anything. Yeah, he looks like a real altruist. Unfortunately, Svetlana doesn't want to breathe a word of it. I'm sure she doesn't trust you. In company like this, that speaks well of her. Why the cold shoulder, Ligia? I've never liked her. Her manner gets under my skin. I've heard she's a dreadful schemer. Hmm. Oh, really? Ligia usually refrains from gossiping. She's always been the first to condemn such behavior. What she said about Sylvantia may have been caused by the Salutra's influence on the environment. Oh, yeah, the word one. I'd better change the subject. I've taken a long, deep look at Samira. She's no medium. Samira is a thaumaturge on the hunt. On the hunt? Madame has spotted a salutor that's attached to one of the guests. What kind of salutor? Remember those fairy tales Mother used to read us? Uh, and the legend of the golden snake? Yes, Velas. Yes. I'm glad you're here. Are you also hunting for him? I admit I'd like to have him. I haven't made up my mind. Be careful. I am. That's why I haven't made up my mind. You enjoying yourself in this viper's den? Oh, the 
the vodka is quite tolerable. I'm observing my own brother taking out his anger on ordinary mortals. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Because I heard a certain conflict took place in the forecourt. Hey, they started it. I was just defending your honor. Okay. Uh, again? Yep. I'm going. Follow her thoughts. I felt something. Where is it? Melted candle. Oof. Oof. Those two was fucking. The fabric carries a memory of yearn for lightheartedness, passion, and a sense of security. Two people found solace in each other here. Two people. Savlana and my father. The silk remembers. It remembers the tentative planning, the recurrent doubt, the peaceful sense that everything was as it should be, and other chaotic thoughts caused by passionate intoxication that I'd rather not know. Hey, Pops was, was doing his damn thing. So I just came here too early, it seems. <laughs> Ring of Pearls, the affectionate gratitude of one woman covered by the shame of another. Though an honest gift from the Serena Zlevanya. I don't I hate pronouncing these names, so we're just gonna say Lana. Lana feels guilty every time she sees it. No wonders Lana was reluctant to talk if she's afraid of someone watching her closely, especially if that someone knows a lot about her and maybe even her pent up desire to escape. Besides, she had an affair with my father. Maybe I can make her confide in me. Then I'll ask her about what I came here for. The Black Grimmer. Alright, alright. There she is. Oh no, that's Ligia. Yeah. Was she already in the room? Oh, I didn't even know that there was like this other section, a balcony. I was looking for you. Do you smoke, Mr. Shulsky? Lunch. I've quit. In light of our approaching conversation, why don't we dispense with the pleasantries? Call me Svetlana. Victor. Ask. That large travel chest. You changed your mind about whether or not to pack. Right then, I wanted to escape badly, but that would have had its own consequences. In this game of false appearances, I'm the best. The burned note, who sent it? I only sensed underhanded kindness. Da, the Ochrana. I don't know which one of them exactly, if that's what you're asking. I've worked hard at it. The Ochrana? It stands for Atelenie po Ochranieniu Abszczestwiennoj Bezpasności i Pariatka. Ah, uh, damn! In other words, the secret police. I know what they are. I'd like to know what they want. Knowledge. The Tsar's eyes and ears must be on guard. They infiltrate not only the city, but, most importantly, the court. And me and my Suarez, too, I'm sure. When did you receive this note? A few weeks ago, back before your father. I see. You two had an affair. <sighs> two grown-up, lonely people found momentary comfort in each other's arms. But romance wasn't behind that relationship. It was just that we were both looking in the same direction. What do you mean by looking in the same direction? 
I still don't know how this lovely note ended up in your hands. But in addition, I found a lovely strings of pearls, and on it, your feelings of guilt. Your power is terrifying. Do you know that? Just a little bit. Your feelings of guilt. Do they have something to do with the Romanov court? With the whole empire. Ruski Mir in Podavai. We, the establishment, perceive the need for change. We want reform. The Colossus is already teetering, but if it falls... La guillotine, mon chéri. But I want to live, Victor. <laughs> Ideally, closer to the West. He's like, we better get our heads chopped off. Tsarina Alexandra gave you those pearls. You two are close. I am her confidant. I could call her my friend. I see how much she devotes to her family and the nation. Yet, something has changed. Where was my father in all this? Willingly or otherwise, he was part of the establishment that wanted change and could see revolution before it arrived. The Ochrana knew about you, hence the note. They must have noticed something. Isn't it time you told me why you really came to my soiree? Hell yeah. I hoped you might know something about the Black Grimoire. My father left it to me in his will, but the Grimoire has gone missing. No. And the collapsed building? Have you been there? There's nothing there. My dear boy, I know nothing about Stanislav's book. I'm sorry, but I can't help you there. But I will not let you leave empty-handed. I strongly believe that there is one place you ought to visit. What you find there belongs to you. Thank you. No, thank you for listening. Uh oh. Splendid ladies, distinguished gentlemen, the hour is at hand. With lights dimmed and the curtains drawn, the souls of the dead slowly gather among us. On their command, I will give the chosen among you a tarot card as your invitation to the table. For you, sir? Heart almost burns with the emotions left on it. The Thaumaturge must have put all the hostility she could summon into the card. Hostility towards me. Maybe I will join this seance soon, if only out of spite. Ah, uh, let's put that away. I'm done wasting time on this. Let us gather in secret ritual. You had to put all that hatred there, girl. Waiting too long. Let us also make every effort together not to spoil their visit. Joy drifts over the beer's surface. Her heart throbs when everyone is looking, when her name echoes everywhere, Sophia. So what if some lose their heads for her? Literally, it only makes for better stories. This girl feels kind of happy and guilty at the same time. The grip butts have women lip marks on them. Letters. Father's letters to Savannah were very tender romantic. But she told them she told us there was no romance. So I, I guess I'm confused by that. The Sophia there. 
we can't go back out either so i guess a conversation with her is about to go down let me see if there's anything in this room too if anything new is popping up and then does ligia have anything else to say Did I nope i'm going We will talk to Sophia first before we go talk to uh, the median thaumaturge girl. May I have a word? How can I help? My friends and I are just playing truth order, and now it's my turn. Won't you dazzle me with your powers? Your father would not be thrilled about you playing games with the thaumaturge. Maybe that's precisely the point. Oh. To keep violating his wishes. We can violate the wishes even more. First, please tell me the rules of this game. Of course, I'm being silly. After all, you've been away a long time. It's simple. Each player in turn must admit a truth or accept a dare. Anyone who doesn't must drop out of the game and thereby loses. And I don't like to lose. So what was your dare? I would guess that to you, a dare would be the lesser of two evils. How very perceptive. It involves finding out my comrades' secrets. Irina, Maxim, or Sergei. The trick is that you're cleverer at it than I am. Your companions don't have anything against a little ruse like this? It's not deception, it's resourcefulness. In the theory, there's no rule against asking for help. Please. Man, don't she let really me does have that word salutar with her. Let me see what I can find. Will any secret do? Any. I wait anxiously for your return. I'll take a look around. Empty glass. Maxim is lonely, as we all are from time to time. He tries to drown his feelings in alcohol, but this affects the opposite of his intentions. Uh -huh. So Sergei's jealous that Sofia is interested in me. That's actually like a pretty good one to get. Irina prevents, or hesitancy prevents Irina from making a decision. She feels torn. She would like to indulge herself and spend time with Maxim. She cannot make a move, thus she's in limbo. So this girl's just flirty. You flirty like crazy. They are getting impatient. What have you found out? Uh, we found out a lot. On <laughs> parlant de secrets, I found your fan. Oh. And I was just thinking that I hadn't remembered where I'd left it. Very interesting. The fan revealed to me that you dropped it on purpose. Oh, you've caught me. I was hoping the right person would find it. And here we are. It worked. Oh, I was wondering where you'd gone off to. You know Sergei, don't you? We're already acquainted. Mr. Shulsky and I have completed my extra difficult dirt together. At your service. Now time for truth. Are you seeing anyone? Sophia seems to be toying with me. She keeps boldly asking about my private matters, looking for strength in her impertinence. I only wonder if she's toying with Victor Soskulski, the person of the Thaumaturge. Or the Thaumaturge. Okay, there we go. The scheming of Scotland's daughter has made her the elite's favor. Her plots provide distraction and make up the content of keenly spread gossip. At the moment, I am the subject of her game. She's teasing me to spite her father, who hates thaumaturges. 
Or is it just a charade to mask her loneliness? Uh, we don't have a lover, but we'll avoid Maybe answering. we should not reveal all our secrets to one another right away. Mr. Shulsky, our time is up. Sophia and I must leave for the seance. Madame is waiting. Thank you once more. See you. We can't give it a power. Therefore, <laughs> Velis chased Sophia Skawan and her floor here. She seemed like such an innocent girl, didn't she? Unless you count sending her admirer on a deadly trip to Africa. It's no coincidence she focused on me. After all, old Scowon hates Thaumaturgis. The little scamp. If I want to discern that little scheme as for, I'll have to join that sepulchral table. Either her scheming, or her jealous knight in shining armor will help me identify her flaw. I hope her father doesn't find out. <laughs> after the game of truth or dare, something flickered around Sophie's skull and a flaw induced by scheming. It fits, after all. Sophie has a fondness for high society and playing games. Well, as the insider is lured by the flaw of the schemer Sophia Skull. In order to capture him, I'll have to play by the rules here, which means exposing Sophia to some stirring experience. I sense that a scandal is inevitable. Let me see if I can talk to her real quick to get any other dialogue going. Mention that I saw her poster. I saw one of your posters. You look different in it really the illustration doesn't reflect reality how should i take that no one warned me that i should get in costume for the party Ugh, i beg your pardon i'm just noting that you stand out among these boring guests impudent just a bit uncouth i'd say do you know the hostess well Will you leave me alone if I say I don't? No. Svetlana Pietrovna invited me, and I am doing my best to meet her expectations. You look Let's so bothered. Out of one another's way. Whose soul are you summoning tonight, dear madame? I only know which one I'd prefer to banish. Shoo. Eh? Maybe my dead father's. If you manage that, it would spare me a lot of trouble. Now we'll never know. I'll disappear. For now. Sometimes it's good to let things go and leave other people in peace for your own benefit. I think I'll take up this gauntlet. All right, enough bullshit. Let's let's do the séance. Is this seat free? The energy is dissipating, ladies and gentlemen. I, I am losing contact with his souls. Well, it was the souls that chose me, after all. It's true. The gentleman has a card. <laughs> Your face. Is everything all right, my child? Got him. <sighs> Got that jealousy coming out of Sergey. Let us lay our hands on the table. Let us allow our minds to liberate themselves from our bodies toward the edges of the world as you know it. Are you thinking of someone exceptional whom you wish to summon? That's exactly the sort of person I had in mind. Oh, is it a long lost love? Rather a future delightful acquaintance. Leave her alone. Sergei, this has nothing to do with you. Dear guests, I implore you, the souls! Your devotion goes unnoticed, and you know full well why that is. 
I do. I am your father's choice, not yours, aren't I? Damn. Please. That was awkward. Well, <laughs> this will make your companions happy. Making fools of people, heaven forbid. Sit down. My poor heart. <laughs> uh, focus on someone you want to make contact with. There is one soul I'd like to summon. Whom do you mean? Teofil Skalski. Does that name mean anything to you? The poor man drowned on the way to Africa, didn't he? No, it wasn't like that. I didn't know he would be killed. Are you planning a similar fate for Sergei? All this just to get under your father's skin? So what if it was? Do you know what it's like to live in the shadow of a cold, absent father? Nope. Rings a bell. <laughs> Is it such a sin to want to be loved? The powers you and your kind have are terrifying. That's why people hate you. That's why my father is cracking down on you. All that matters is I have what I wanted. Don't you dare. Oh. <sighs> Guess we gotta compete. You were supposed to stay away. I was supposed to leave here with Velis. All that work for nothing. Spare yourself the trouble. It was a fair fight. But I don't intend to hold you here. Truth be told, I even feel sorry for you. That's fine. What does that mean? Rid yourself of the pride you've got within. Otherwise, it will lead you to the gallows. Enough of this. There's a sadditor waiting for me. Being prideful is our thing, though. Enjoy him, fool. Damn, we just jump in a fight just like that. All right. So we got this person with resistance. Reduces taking damage by 40%. 50 percent chance of dealing double damage. Yeesh. All right, so. Get some suffering going on. We gotta watch out for the ones with the guns, honestly. I 
Actually, because I'm wondering, I'm like, can we just actually do as much damage as possible on her? Okay, cool. We got her taken out. Ouch. Ouch. So what we can do now is let me switch over to you because we want to transfer some stuff. I might die on this though. I should have probably healed up with uh, upper. Oh yeah, and all my focus is down too. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely being taken out. Okay, we 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 low key, low key about to do this. Let's go. We got this. Get a little better at the combat. Just wait and we got scheming flaw. Rasputin sees you. Then you'll stop fighting me. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this evening the souls were particularly restless. Sofia? Did you enjoy the show? My best so far. So, I suppose now is the time to applaud. And you, sir, what can you tell us? Uh... Let's grant Sophia some peace. Let it sink in that you're free, finally. Neither your father nor your environment define you. Everyone heard those atrocious words from my lips. I can't undo that. But you're right. You've freed me. What will you do now? First, I'll apologize to Sergei. I was cruel to him. What's going on here? The guests are complaining, and with good cause, I see. We're terminating this disaster. Farewell, Viktor Shulsky. See you. No, I don't think so. Wait, it was you Mr. Puhalski was talking about. What was he saying? That you're a bore, a troublemaker, and a pest. Let's go. Jeez, I was the life of the party. Oh, uh, we got a fight too already? Like, coming out of that? I'm trying to decide who I want to take out. What was it? You have, well, both of you guys have guns, so. We can't even use this one yet. Jeez.
we gotta heal up on uh probably one of these next attacks Jeez. There we go. These dudes are fucking around and finding out. Like that how so mr sursky are you all right we did our thing i think it's time for us to go i'll snug us a carriage you'll have a hard time at this hour i'll drop you off see you can always count on mr konechkin victor thank you that's very polite Thank you for an interesting evening. <sighs> what? I didn't say anything. Fine. Konechkin is up to something. Victor, if not for him, <sighs> he really helped us tonight. I don't want to talk about it tonight. Good night. Really? Just like that? I am about to go deaf. Hello? 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 Victor? Our uncle. Speaking. Victor, Uncle Sasha here. How are you? Have you visited your old stomping ground yet? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. And how are you, uncle? I wanted to... Uh, need. I need your help, boy. It's a very delicate matter. Are you able to find a moment for your uncle? All right, so where should we meet? Remember where I took you kids for donuts? Uh, I do. <laughs> Let's meet there. Maybe we can reminisce about the old days. Better days. See you then, Victor. Thank you. Alrighty, so I guess that was a side quest? Yeah, looks like it. So what we'll do now, actually, is we're going to go... The Rasputin, so that way we can we can tame uh, Velas, and then we can get the word uh, word dimension up, and then complete that other side quest to get like the next salutor. Let's travel.
Mr. Schultz. All right, guys, we're here to talk to Rasputin to see about taming Velus. Although, let's not waste time. I'll be very grateful to you. Let me share something about your pace in hunting for Salutors. Aren't you losing yourself too much in it? Again? I don't think so. And if it is, it will only improve. Thanks to you, of course. I'm just worried. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. Follow my voice inside yourself. Do you see him? He's remarkable. <laughs> I... I can't... Time him. You can, and you will. Look, he's afraid of you. Calm your heartbeat. It will scare him off. Calm yourself. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on inexorably. Have you seen the future again? I don't know if it's the future. It could just be some symbols I don't know how to interpret. Heavy clouds drifting over battlefields, reaping a deadly harvest, and these faceless beings walking among strangely contorted bodies, and the ship unsinkable, yet it went down with thousands on board. I feel as though I could have stopped it. Did you watch me sleeping? You still drool. I think I shouldn't abuse the Nadazhinsky's hospitality any further. That distressed woman you mentioned, Svetlana. You know, I saw her in my vision. That surly maid brought me the gossip about her that was going around town. This Svetlana is causing herself trouble. What was this gossip, may I ask? Nothing that would sully her in your eyes. She intrigued me. I'd like to meet her. And you know, I think she needs help. Help? What do you want me to do? Bring her to me. I won't keep you. Until next time. Alrighty. So now we got Velus, and looks like we have Distraction. I guess this is an upgrade for, uh, what was it? Diversion. So then we can add another two slot skill on. Let's go back over here because we have Accidental Damage. Gives a 50% chance of additionally lowering the target's focus by two. Okay, interesting. Speeds up your next action by one round. Nervous doubling. Doubles the inflicted damage or lowered focus if your focus is less than six. 
and then terror reduces focus one at the end of every round wow that's going to be nice focus like reduction over time okay sweet well we already know we got to upgrade this stuff anyway so might as well get this up now we got word four we need a couple more points uh in order to get word five to complete that side quest it seems which i think will give me this value tree over here but guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And I'll subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.